Welcome to ChemDoodle Shorts. I'm Mary, your ChemDoodle Pro. Let's learn about Fisher projections. A Fisher projection is a two-dimensional representation of the three-dimensional configuration of a molecule. It's a convenient method of depicting the stereochemistry of molecules with multiple chiral centers, such as carbohydrates. To start, let's learn how to draw the Fisher projection of a small molecule, R-bromochlorofluoromethane. It has a central carbon atom with four different atoms attached, hydrogen, bromine, chlorine, and fluorine. The four different atoms attached makes this carbon a chiral center. To help visualize this molecule, let's see it in 3D as well. Recall that the dashed bond, which we'll highlight in green in both the 2D and 3D structures, is pointing away from us into the plane of the screen. The wedge bond, which we'll highlight in red, is coming toward us out of the plane of the screen. Finally, the solid lines represent bonds in the plane of the screen. Now imagine we are viewing the molecule from the side, looking straight down on it. Carbon is in the middle, in the plane of the screen. There are two atoms coming out of the plane of the screen toward us. Hydrogen with the green bond is on the left, and bromine with the red bond is on the right. The other two atoms are directed away from us, out of the plane of the screen. Chlorine is on the top, and fluorine is on the bottom. This perspective is helpful in creating Fisher projections. To draw a Fisher projection in ChemDoodle, select the chain palette to expand the toolbar. Next, select the Fisher projection carbon chain tool. Then, click on the doodle board to set a carbon atom. Hovering over the initial atom, press and hold down the mouse, and then drag the mouse to your desired chain length. Release the mouse to set the Fisher projection. While a Fisher projection simply contains solid perpendicular lines, there's a lot of information contained within. The cross or intersection of the horizontal and vertical lines represents the chiral carbon in r bromochlorofluoromethane It is in the plane of the screen. Using our new perspective of r bromochlorofluoromethane in 2D and 3D, let's fill in the four attached atoms. The two horizontal lines that extend out from the intersection are bonds that are pointed toward us, out of the plane of the screen. The horizontal line on the left is the green bond, attached to hydrogen. The horizontal line on the right is the red bond, attached to bromine. The two vertical lines that extend out from the chiral carbon represent bonds that are directed away from us, into the plane of the screen. The vertical line on the top is bonded to chlorine and the vertical line on the bottom is bonded to fluorine. This is the Fisher projection for r bromochlorofluoromethane It's important to understand how to read a Fisher projection too. Let's look at the Fisher projection for r lactic acid. At the intersection of the cross is a carbon. There's an implied CH3-methyl group on the bottom, a COOH carboxyl group on the top, a hydrogen on the left, and an OH hydroxyl group on the right. Four different groups attached to the carbon makes this carbon a chiral center. Now let's redraw the Fisher projection with wedges and dashes. Recall that the horizontal lines of a Fisher projection are coming out of the plane of the screen toward us, so the hydrogen and hydroxyl bonds are wedges. The vertical lines of a Fisher projection are oriented into the plane of the screen, away from us, so the carboxyl and methyl bonds are dashes. Visualizing this in 3D and rotating the molecule such that the carbon atoms are in the plane of the screen, we can redraw our lactic acid with wedges, dashes, and solid lines. The carbon atoms and their bonds are all in the plane of the screen, shown with solid lines. The methyl group is the lower leftmost carbon. The chiral carbon is the upper middle carbon. And the carboxyl carbon is the lower rightmost carbon. From the 3D molecule, we see that the hydroxyl group is pointed toward us, so we can draw it with a wedge bond. The hydrogen atom is directed away from us, so we can draw that with a dashed bond. This is the wedge and dash projection of our lactic acid. Knowing how to draw Fisher projections allows you to conveniently portray carbohydrates, amino acids, and other organic molecules. Understanding how to interpret Fisher projections enables you to easily identify the stereochemical properties of these molecules. Thanks for watching ChemDoodle Shorts.